binary search algorithm with an explanation along with visualization in Google Colab, Python with the Plotly library. To get started with the binary search algorithm, first let's go through the brute force approach to how we'd solve the problem. And for the brute force, let's, for example, say our target is four. This is the array. So first we're gonna check the first element of the array. We know it's not that, we move to the second, not that, we move to the third, not that, move to the fourth, we got it. So this is the brute force approach and just going one by one to check the values. As you can tell, this is really time consuming. So it begs the question, what's a better way to do this? And this is where binary search comes in. So to briefly mention the concept that we're gonna be talking about a binary search, we need to take a look at the methodology. So imagine you're looking for a word in the dictionary, let's say it starts with an N. And if you were to do that brute force approach to go through every single page of the dictionary starting from A, it would take you a while, right? Most people, when they get a dictionary, they'll open it to half, they might overshoot it, undershoot it, and go back and forth, much like this guy in the picture. And that's generally the concept of this. So let's tie that back to our initial brute force approach. Instead of starting with the first element of the array, we're gonna go to the midpoint. From the midpoint, we can check, hey, it's not the number. It's definitely greater than our midpoint. So let's shift our midpoint over to the middle. Then our middle that we're gonna check would be four, and bam, there's our number. All right, now that we have an idea of the methodology, we've looked at brute force, let's take a look at what this looks like in a Google Colab notebook using Python with the Plotly library. All right, so now we're in Google Colab and we can start with looking at the visualization. So you'll notice in the description below, I have the Colab notebook for you. We have function, test, and viz. I'm gonna focus on viz for this video. Now run the cell of viz and give it an input. So we're gonna look through a range of zero through 40 and let's say 28. Now we have a nice plotly plot and we can press play in order to demonstrate the binary search algorithm for this search of 28 in an array of 40. All right, so now we're good to go. We can press play and we'll see the same logic that we just went over with the smaller array, but in a bigger and just more probably real life scenario. So I think this is a good way to visualize your data and to take these leak code concepts and algorithms and actually build plots to show how they work. As always, thanks for stopping by and like and subscribe for more.